1989, Peter Blake was making his fifth attempt to win with Steinlager II. They stormed to victory in the first leg while close rival Grant Dalton's Fisher and Paykel limped in with mass damage. On the next leg to Fremantle, Australia, Blake was first again. If winning the Whipreb was the crowning glory, finishing first into Auckland was a close second for the two Kiwi frontrunners. Neck and neck, they chased each other across 3,000 miles of ocean until within sight of Auckland, there was barely a mile between them. It was intense and um, it was so important that the Steinlager guys were going to get the first over the line. One of those little cells of intent wind came down and Fisher and Paykel went into a wild brooch and that gave Blake the opportunity to get the spinnaker down before anything happened and be in full control and be able to sail past them. He didn't know quite he, when the racing was that close he was going to be first so butterflies in the stomach. <laughs> Emboldened by a third successive win Steinlager II never looked back. After a formidable crossing of the Southern Ocean, they were first into Punta del Este, first into Fort Lauderdale, and finally first into Southampton. Peter Blake had at last achieved what he had dedicated his whole sailing life to, winning the Whitbread. It was a wonderful triumph. To win every leg needed not only skill and determination, but just that extra little bit of luck, perhaps. I've climbed one Everest, yeah. There's a few more around that need to be looked at, so um, I'm not just going to sort of um, disappear, you know, into the background somewhere. I've got a few other things I intend to do. He knew then that he wouldn't do another wet bread race because there would be no point. I mean, he'd run every leg. It's almost like a, I don't have to do that again. But yeah, let's think of the next adventure. Yeah.